Welcome to Dominica's Middleham Falls. Middleham Falls is located in the area of Rodo Valley, one of the areas in Dominica where it's more likely to have rain and sunshine. This hike was more for the intermediate level than beginner friendly audience. It took me between an hour and a half just to reach towards the destination being Middleham Falls. Having said that, I don't recommend wearing slippers or so on this trail, especially when the rain kicks in. It's problematic. Problematic? Problematic. It's problematic either by the mud swallowing your shoes or possibly skidding across to an injury of some sort. Wear shoes with grip and pack a change of clothes even if you aren't bathing under the falls or the rain. I really don't judge. Some people bathe by rain, some people bathe by the falls. Either way, pack a change of clothes so that you're able to keep yourself dry while attempting this hike. There's a lot of inclines, mossy rocks and things that get more difficult depending on how rainy it gets. If you absolutely need a guide, you should request a guide beforehand if it's your first time attempting any Dominican trail so that you can give yourself a feel as to how an intermediate level Dominican trail can be. For locals that are doing trails like this frequently such as myself, you can simply follow the blue and yellow blaze which will guide you in the event that you feel a sense of being lost. This is all the precaution that I advise while attempting this trail. Now onto the storytelling of this majestic falls. According to Discover Dominica, this majestic falls are striking with a narrow stream dropping about 200 feet from a keyhole notch in the lip of a cliff. The pool beneath the falls is swimmable, though a bit chilly. The good thing about being in Rosa Valley or Wharton Waven to be more precise is that there are a variety of hot springs, or as the locals call them, sulfur baths, to warm yourself up after being in this cold environment for quite some time. My sulfur bath of choice in Wharton Waven is called Screws Sulfur Spas, which has many sulfur pools to accommodate both solo hikers or groups. At the time of recording, I attempted this trail during its rainiest time, which is definitely not a recommend for the beginner friendly class or audience. The small stream ended up being a big stream. The spray of this waterfall during heavy rain made it more intimidating to attempt swimming in the pool around it. Definitely not for the beginner friendly audience, but for those experts out there, if you look closely around the viewing platform around the falls, there is a path climbing down to some rocks, which brings you to pools surrounded by streams of water and more rocks around it. It's somewhat easier to access than the pool around the waterfall itself. Do not attempt this while under heavy rain. The stream of water is very powerful at that state. And with that, I am wrapping this video up with my overall opinion of this trail. This trail, if not for its area Rosso Valley, being often known as one of the rainy sites of Dominica, actually gives a good challenge to the body as you're faced with a lot more inclines, declines, and a test of your endurance as this trail was in fact one of the longer ones in terms of length. If not for the rain making it more intense to do this trail because of how slippery the terrain is with all the mossy rocks, mud that can swallow your shoes if you're not careful, this would be one of the best trails to experience in Dominica. And I must commend that it's marked up well with blue and yellow guides and man-made markings such as wooden bridges to cross wooden platforms and even as far as steps to make you feel like people been maintaining this trail which is welcome for anyone to see doing this trail. All that said, that's my overall opinion on the Middleham Falls Trail. Capture your moments and embrace the beauty of Dominica. Leave a like and subscribe as it really gives support to the channel and tell the YouTube algorithm that this video was done right.